Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a polynomial function given in the factor form and we are asked to find the zero. For finding the zero, you see here, we need to set up the function equals to zero. And then we need to find the zero and we can use the zero product property. What do I mean by this? x minus 9 equals 0, right? We can use this zero product property because this polynomial function is in, is in the factor form. So that will give us x equals 9 over an x-intercept of 9 and 0. And x plus 6 equals 0. And it's going to give us x equals negative 6, which is going to give us an x-intercept of negative 6 and 0. That is about finding the zero. But now let's take a look to the second part of this uh, uh, first sentence, the multiplicity of each zero. And look at here, here we have an invisible one. This has multiplicity one. That's the way we call it. The multiplicity of x equals nine is one because we have x minus nine to the first power. But what about negative 6. Okay. You already notice I show you a degree of 3 there. The multiplicity of that guy is multiplicity 3. And now we can go to the last part which is asking us about what's happened with our graph at those intercepts. Okay. If it crosses or touches the x-axis. On both of them, both of them the graph is going to cross the x-axis. Why? Look at here. The multiplicity is odd, crosses. If it's even, touches. And that's it about this problem. You can also use a graphing calculator and you'll notice this behavior. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.